guys y'all know i was struck i struggle with trying to get the placement of my camera and i hope it's right but all right so hi guys welcome back to my channel i can't I can't even apologize for how much it really wasn't a good thing of me not to post Friday nor Monday but I was getting a lot of stuff done with school um just stuff with life and watching my little cousins I was just doing a lot a lot and just kind of getting organized with myself and honestly I didn't really want to bring you guys along for that ride because it's pretty boring and I really know I need better content, need better energy, and things of that nature. So, you know, I was like, I'm sad I'm just going to have to take these two days just off and really just get my personal self together, the Asia, get the Asia together. But let's get into this video. You already know it's not going to be two minute video. You know, if you want to see the end, end, fast forward, but I'll probably put like a little clip in the beginning, you know, the, if you want to see how this looks. Anyways, but you know, I just want to also say a quick thank you to everybody who supports me, everybody who was constantly commenting, blah, 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 let's get into it. So, I'm going to a pool party on Saturday, so I'm definitely going to be vlogging that, that'll probably be the first lit vlog, and I was like, I have an old, old wig that's in good condition, but the frontal was trash, so I cut the frontal, long story short, I used it this weekend, blah, blah, blah. So, I bought... Uh, beauty store frontal. It's supposedly the knots are already bleached, but your good sis is not trusting that. I ain't trusting that. So, no, I'm packaging. Ugh, it smells nasty. It smells disgusting, actually. I got it in 12 inches. I wanted it longer, but the store didn't have it longer for body wave so I just have to get 12 um my thoughts about it initially it's definitely very soft I feel like it will have volume they do already give you baby hairs hopefully you guys can see hopefully you guys can see so they already give you baby hairs it's supposedly I see it bleached but I'm just gonna give it just a quick bleach from my personal liking just so I know I did it. I'm not a fan of pre-bleach stuff. Unless it's from an expensive company. So it's 100% human virgin hair. This is the frontal movement. It's 13 by 5. Yeah, 13 by 5. The baby hairs. Um, against my skin is, woo, woo, honey, it's very ashy, and it's, it's a very, a very, very thick lace, um, very, very thick lace, like, kind of yucky, um, I'm definitely not used to a lace this big, so all the wigs I've been dealing with are thin, um, it is already bleached, y'all, and I know I zoomed in the camera, but it's low-key, kind of, over bleach but you know i'm just gonna go in and give it a quick personal bleach i don't even know if i should do that because it really is bleached already they over bleached this so bad like i'm gonna low-key have to work a miracle the texture of the hair i love it it's pretty good so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wash this with purple shampoo and see if it looks any better, got any better, and then um, see if I have to bleach it. So I currently have my old wig boiling because that's how I kind of like revamp my old either synthetic or human hair wigs. Put wash, start washing it as well, and I'm gonna check back in with you guys, showing you both of them. All right, y'all. If you see my bed set, it's because my little cousins were over, and I put the SpongeBob bed set so my real bed set don't get messed up. But this is how it is after I washed it with purple shampoo. 
And I'm hoping it comes out good. And this is my other wig. It's very full. It's actually very long. I'm going to put this in the light. I'm gonna, if I put it in my chair. It's very, very bronzy, though. You can see that. It's very... They over-bleached it. Okay, y'all, so this is the wig without the frontal part. Well, I feel like my quality is just, like, amazing right now. Yeah, so the wig is actually very nice. It's very, very long, so I'm loving that. I'm praying my plans with this wig goes how it should. As you guys see, I'm going to zoom in because the camera's in. So. As you guys see, that's where the old lace was. And that is where I will be reapplying the new lace. I'm going to definitely, I'm going to pin the new frontal on the top just to make sure it blends. But I put them side by side. And it was pretty good. So I'm going to tune back in after I pin it. Alright y'all, so almost blends in very seamlessly with the hair. You have no clue that this is not the frontal that belongs on this head um just zoom in on that hairline for you guys the hairline itself is truly not bad i have no problem it is very 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 over plucked it gives me a very brassy orangey tone that i'm hands down not used to i don't ever wear my wigs like that but we're definitely going to work with it and it literally blends in seamlessly like so, I love the hairline on this side. It's giving me very, very natural vibes. Like, calm, perfect. That side's pretty nice. But So, what I have to do is sew it on right now. I'm hoping everything... Oops, sorry. Hoping everything goes fine when I sew it on. Just going to give y'all a quick 360. Or 180 because I'm not going all the way around. It, the hairline is giving me very natural. Like, I'm loving the hairline. And I'm definitely a fan of this frontal. So, I'm just going to sew it off camera because I know it's going to take me a while. And I'll probably just be in the living room with my family. But I'm going to come back after it's sewn and all that good stuff. Alright y'all, I honestly don't know how I look. I'm outside on my back porch. Don't mind my AirPod. I'm not near my phone, so I'm having it read my messages. And yeah, so I had to go to the Dollar Tree and get foil because, of course, my house didn't have foil. But we're about to get the process done. i legit so scared because I'm like, I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess it up. But this is how you got to learn. So just confirming with you guys, what we're doing is I'm going to put two blonde strips I'm going to have a side part anyway, so this one's going to have a little bit of a longer strip. But then I'm going to do the ends, like the brown or like a blondish. <sighs> then I'm going to like trail some pieces up a little more to kind of give it a highlight look. But not a lot, just a little. Not a lot, just a little bit. So I'm going to have y'all set up in a little corner while I'm doing it so you guys could see the process. And I have a 20 developer so the process is going to be a little longer i don't know if you guys know there's 20 30 40 and i believe actually a 60. so 20 is the slowest um processing and 60 is the fastest i personally prefer to use a 20 developer because i kind of like to check up on my stuff so i could see obviously when you use a faster one you have to be really mindful so that's just that but everything's pretty affordable obviously the bnw clariton bleaching powder so yeah we just about to get it started y'all about to see hopefully it comes out good y'all because like i really just hope so
dirty south. Dirty, dirty. Can y'all really feel me? Feel it. East coast feel Say me. Say what? West coast feel uh -huh. me. Uh, dirty south. Dirty, dirty, uh, dirty. Uh, can y'all really feel me? I got what? Bigger. East coast feel me. Uh -huh. West coast feel me. Whoop. Boy, I've been watching you like the hawk in the sky. But you are my prey Boy, I promise you If we keep bumping heads I know that one of these days We gon' hook it up Probably talk on the phone But see, I don't know if that's good I've been holding back this secret from you I probably shouldn't tell it But if I let you You pick me up at the park right now, up the block while everyone's sleeping. I'll be waiting there with my tricks, my looks, my hat, just so I'm low key. If you tell the Alright y'all, so I'm in my kitchen. The color, it ain't come out, y'all. It was a really darkish brown, which actually is really pretty. Like, it looks really pretty, but I want it just a little more apparent, a little more of that brownish blonde. So I'm going to do it one more time, and hopefully that's enough. Maybe just let it sit a little longer. I let it sit for like 25 minutes, so that might have... I never bleach hair, so that might not even be enough. So I'll probably just do it outside because the bleach smell is really strong and putrid. Then bring it in and maybe check back in 45 minutes next time. So it's currently wet because obviously you have to rinse it out. So I'm letting it dry outside, kind of drip down and da 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 da. And then I'm going to check back in with you guys after the second time. Y'all, I am so tired. I am hoping that this was the one. It looks lighter at the top, so this really might be it. Then we got all of our foil pieces at the bottom. Say hi to Zyman. We already know Zyman be around. But I hope this is it, y'all, because you're good, sis. It's Diane. All right, y'all. So this is how it has came out. I have my little brown streak. It's not the most. I definitely probably could have grabbed more here this one has a little bit of a longer thicker strand this side has less so it's just dark at the top and i wanted it to be that brown at the roots once again my camera's not showing the true color so when it dries you guys will see the real color before now this is all oopsies this is all i can show you guys Hopefully you can see it. I'm not, honestly, this is not the color I wanted at all. Like, I can't emphasize that. I really still want it to be more of a blonde. But I'm not even going to hold you. I don't got no more developers. So, regardless, it can't happen tonight. And I'm so tired. And I just want to go to sleep. And I just want to lay down. So, I'm going to let it air dry. See how I'm feeling about the color in the morning. Because, obviously, when things are dark, when um, hair is wet, it looks darker. 
so hopefully when it you know frizzes up and dries up it looks pretty it looks nice and I'll be content with it but definitely this process wasn't a bad process so I'm gonna tune in with you guys tomorrow morning after I'm sorry about the background y'all as well but I'm gonna tune in tomorrow morning when it's all air dried blah 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 bye guys I first I really didn't like it and my mom was like no oh, it's cute no, it looks nice. And I kind of was like, wait, yes, it does. I never give myself credit, y'all. Like, I can do the best thing and I'll say it's trash. Like, that's just me and that's just how I made my mind be. So now the back is going to obviously look a little crazy, y'all, because it's just not bruh, you know. But what I'm liking about this is, let me turn it all the way. So I, I'm going to have to probably recut it into that V because it's looking a little iffy, but it's fine. What I'm liking about this unit is I truly only wanted the tips, like right at the bottom. Your, your girl trailed it up. <laughs> your girl trailed it up. So, that kind of sucks a bit. But I think when I'm curling and styling it, it's going to look nice. But we still do have the whole top, but it's majority this. Um, the color is uh, more mahogany or light brown rather than this like weirdish ashy reddish ginger you're seeing there's some dark parts there's some light parts it comes up pretty nice it has a a decent ombre effect it's not like it's just black this color it kind of seems like that in the camera but it actually blends so that's gonna be nice when it comes to curling this side is actually probably one of my favorite sides. It looks just pretty, it looks, looks nice. It just looks really nice. This is the color, if, let me see. This color, it's showing you a little more of a brassy finish, but this is like the blondish kind of look I wanted, but it is okay. This is the front tool that was unprocessed, like I said before, and I'm pretty sure my half wig had a jet black rinse so that is why we have this iffy color but it's still pretty in real life now the parting space is a 13 by 5 the hair has an ultra soft touch i have nothing com to complain about with the frontal it already came pre-bleached so we're gonna try that out and if it don't i'll just bleach the knot as i said before it came pre-plucked it comes with baby hairs i got got this in natural it comes into either 613 or natural so i might try the 613 next because i'm really pleased with this quality it blends in seamlessly with my hair especially after the whole dying and yeah yeah so all right thank you guys so much for tuning in once again, like, I apologize for not uploading Friday nor Monday. Like, it, when I tell y'all it killed my soul, it killed my soul. But you know, you just, like, it is what it is. I kind of have no choice. That's how I was feeling. So I had no content, no time. I don't have my laptop charger, so I can't even edit. I would have to edit on my phone, which isn't a problem. But, like, y'all, so... Thank you so much. The scheduling for this week, it's going to be Friday, this wig, this wig. Then on Monday, it's going to be uh, like the installing aspect of it. I think I'll make it a little more of a chit chat. So it's probably going to be longer. But Friday, a little lit vlog. So I'm going to this pool party. That's the point of all this. So, thank you. I'm so sorry if the camera was moving. I don't know why I don't have it on a tripod. I'm just holding it. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. The Brown Ball B. The one and only Brown Ball B. Period. So, thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to need y'all to smash that subscribe button and the like. And y'all can drop a comment or two. I like talking. I personally like talking to people in person. And I like talking to you guys. So, thank you guys so much. Bye.